Hello my friends, welcome back to the bench. And today I'm going to be kind of answering uh, some questions that I get uh, sent to me all the time. And it's about my racks uh, that I put my stuff in and my paint racks. And I figured maybe I'll put this as part of my uh, accessories and tools for the bench. I'll do it as part of that series. So today we're going to be going over... Uh, a few things that I keep my stuff organized in, and then we'll show you some of my paint racks. My paint racks are there and behind me, and uh, I'll show you what I use for those and a couple others that uh, I haven't shown on screen yet. But uh, start off with the basics here, and um, these are these are uh, marker stands. They're called marker stands, obviously, because you can hold your paint markers in them, and uh, actually you can put anything you want in them. But I got a few of these, and I use them for... These are my uh, coffee stirs that I use for when I stir my paint, and I I buy it in bulk, like a couple of thousand at a time, real cheap. I'll put a link below uh, for these. These are a definite for every bench. And uh, as it gets low, I used to have the fat stirs in the bottom, you know, the ones that look like popsicle sticks, and um, but I always keep this full. It's always always in the ready for me, so I just reach across. It's always in the same spot. So I always know where my stirrers are. I use the one for that. All right, this blue one I use for my box cutters because I'm always getting a package in the mail for paint or whatever. So I keep my box cutters here or a knife for uh, opening boxes. And this is my uh, Ulfa. Nice one here. And um, I keep them on the ready so I point them in so you know, you're not going to get cut reaching for them. Um, do not use... We're going off on a little bit of a tangent here. Don't use your knife that you build your kits with to open your boxes with. You're just going to dull them out in like two seconds, and uh, you're going to blow through them. Um, just go buy yourself a 4 or $5 nice uh, box cutter that you can keep uh, handy to open your boxes with. If you're like me and you're into the hobby, there's always something showing up on the doorstep. So, yeah, use a box cutter for that. But anyway, yeah, I use this to hold the box cutter. That's in the room. I always uh, have that in the handy. You probably always see it in the corner of the video. Get these stirrers out of here. So that's that. Oh, one more. Um, I use glasses. I'm wearing a pair now. Uh, not my regular life. And uh, it's mostly for uh, close-up. Uh, thank God, because I love my TV, my video games. And um, I need to see my 4K. My TV. But uh, I don't need glasses for that. But I do need them when I'm building my models. And I noticed that I'll need them if I'm going to be uh, removing nub marks and panel lining, i got to get a little closer in. But if I'm reading an instruction and I'm building a gumpler or something, uh, not as far. So uh, each of my glasses will have a number here for the magnification. And uh, I'll have a one and a half, a two, and a three. And what I did was I just took these sticker letters from, uh, I think it's from Walmart. And uh, I just peeled and stick. So when I go to reach, I know just what I'm going for. I did on both sides in case it's, you know, wherever it's sitting, I could see it. This, you guys always probably see it on this side of the bench. And then uh, if I need one, and they're always handy, get these at uh, my Dollar Tree. They're a buck and a quarter a piece, or buck, whatever they were. And when inflation hit, now it's a dollar a quarter tree, right? Yeah, so I get them there, and uh, I use them every day. And I'll show you where those are always. They're always right over here. There they are. And, uh, yeah, that's that. That's my little stands here. These are always here in the background. You guys have been watching for a while now. You probably know that. And, um, yeah, let's get the knife one out of the way here. Because I'm going to go reach in into the corner here. How's that? This has been here for quite a while. This holds a lot of miscellaneous stuff, screwdrivers and stuff. I don't use that often, buffing cloths. But uh, it's, a, it's a system. Can you see this fits on the top? It's almost like a drawer. Now, if you need tools, check this out. They stack up beautifully. And I'll keep my... Uh, I'll always know where my knives are right there. They're always in the handy. Those are on the top. But watch. See how they stack up so nice. And these will be spare knives, spare blades. Uh, there's the clamps that I did in one of my videos on the bottom. And they stack up nice. You can buy different colors. Obviously, I got black and the clear here. And, uh, you know, you can use that to identify where you want to keep your stuff. So, oop. Sorry, guys. I'm reaching around the camera. So, uh, yeah. These are great. And it fits onto this. These all came from the container store. If you have one in your area or if it's online, um, I, I just found this stuff by walking through the store for like an hour, two hours. I'll go almost twice a year just to notice all uh, uh, nice stuff, racks and storage. It's just wonderful for keeping the desk 
nice and neat. And then let's just put this right back here when I'm done working. Tuck it back in. Gives you a lot of room. Oh, uh, next to it, way down there, was this. And this is in the spice rack section of uh, the container store. And these are really good. Now, this can fit anything. Now, I'm going to spin the camera, guys. Hold on. All right. Over here, it's one of those right there. And those are all my glues. I keep all the glues in one area. And uh, I'll reach for them. I use the zap quite a bit. And then uh, I'm working on a kit now. So I just took these from the top down. These are my super thin liquid cements. Mario is down. Get back up there. And, uh, yeah, that's what this one is. Let me turn it back now. And that's what this is. Now, this can hold anything. I just showed you. I had the glue in mind. Uh, yeah, the sky's the limit, you know, as far as uh, what you're going to put in it. I used to have magic markers in it. And uh, I now have them in this. And that's going to be changing soon, too, in the video. I'm going to show you that in a minute. But I'll show you how it's the perfect size for markers, particularly these Sharpies. See, it just holds them beautifully. And I think it holds the, uh, let's see if it holds the, I'm opening up the top of this container here, which is also a nice storage unit. Yeah, it holds uh, the uh, Gundam markers too from uh, from Mr. Color, Mr. Hobby. See that? So that's that's a good, good system too. I also keep them in this because I kept them out of the room for some time now. But with this system, I separated them. See it? Now all the Sharpies are on the bottom. Watch this. This comes up here and it just locks in. Then there's a lid with the handle on the very top. I got this, I believe, at Hobby Lobby or Michael's. It might have been Michael's. Yeah, and you know, I was carrying that around. Um, but I do like everything on the, my desk and around me. That's why my desk is shaped like a C so I can turn one way and grab everything. Um, but these really do come in handy. Go to a, a store like the Container Store and get a spice rack, right? And uh, that'll make your life a lot easier. Let's see if I can get this back. Hold on, guys. I don't think I can get that baby back in there if I try. Nope. It tucks in real close. I pulled it out just for this video, so I'm going to put this aside. All right, that goes back later on. Okay, now, the idea for this video, besides uh, getting a lot of questions, I ordered this. Because uh, I'm going to try and get the markers, you know, from the storage in the other room into this room. And uh, I'm going to try and go against the wall like everything else is. And I ordered this. And this showed up yesterday. And this gave me the idea for this video. Get the box out of the way. Now check this one out. This is extensive. This will hold everything. Now this will hold your brushes. Let's get those silicone brushes I just tested. See that? Then everything faces outward. And uh, it'll also hold the markers, as we were just looking at. All right, let's go ahead and go back in and get them. And what happens here is you can face the caps outward. Now you can see the color. Fill it right up. And there's a lot of space here. And again, it fits against the wall. So uh, yeah, I, I think this is a pretty nice unit. And I'm really going to fill this thing up, and I'm going to put it in a nice area here, out of the way, so I can always just grab what I need. I might even do brushes on the... One down! I might even put uh, brushes in one spot, maybe at the bottom. You know, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, I saw this, and um, it's pretty cheap. I don't even know if it was 15 bucks. And even have a spot underneath, I guess I can put some glues and whatnot under here. So that's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, I'll put a link below for this one. This is what? One, two. I got three shelves plus under here. This will hold quite a bit. Uh, try my new brushes here from Hobby Mio. Yeah, it holds those good. And you can see the ends. Yeah, excellent. Pencils, whatever you want to put. So, this is another nice unit to have in the room. Let me get this out of the way. All right, guys. Hold on one second. I'm going to pull up some uh, paint racks. All right, magically, the paint racks appear. All right, these are uh, stand-up paint racks, meaning they, they sit on a bench. And then I'll show you the ones that are bolted to my wall. Um, this is the only brand name one I have. This is made by Mr. Hobby, obviously. Look at that. And I think it's on both sides. Yes, Mr. Hobby. And uh, you can actually stack these tall. These... Uh, 
right here are our links. We slide it in like a tongue and groove, and it fits together so you can go straight up. But this happened to hold every one of my aqueous colors. Um, but for, I think, the new Gundam ones I got in the Gundam colors. But yeah, check this out. I mean, it holds them perfect. And because of uh, this particular line of a paint, the color cap shows you what you're going for. So it's, uh, it's pretty nice. And um, that's it. I think it holds 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? 5, 10, 15, 20. Yep. 2, 4, 60. 60 bottles. This will also hold the Tamiya colors. And I tested a few others that fit pretty good, too. I can't think of the brands. But really, it was made for these, or the Tamiya size jars. And I put them in an order, going this way. See, one, two, three, four, five. So I got the numbered in order, starting up here to the bottom. And uh, yeah, these are great. Not cheap at all. 50 bucks. Um, I really wanted one. I don't know why, <laughs> but I ordered it, and uh, I do like it. Uh, if I, I mean, if you want two stacked together, man, we're talking 100 bucks. I'd have to really separate that purchase, because... To get these in the mail at, at 100 would drive me nuts. But, uh, yeah, you can go tall. It really save a lot of room in, in, in your area by going up, you know, instead of spread out. But this is all I needed for them. I might break down and get another one. I don't know. I really have good luck with these other racks, which we're going to go over right now. But that is my only branded rack right there. Now, these are my beloved acrylic racks. I really started everything off with these and the ones that are on my wall. Um, these, uh, This is a small one. I, don't, I only have one of these. This is only a three-step, but they come basically in a six-step, all the way up to six. I'll show you that. That's behind us here. I'll uh, pull the camera off and show you those in a minute. You have to build them, um, meaning you put these screws together. And it takes a good half hour to 40 minutes to screw these damn things, particularly the sixth, the sixth one that goes all the way, and you're trying to hold it and balance it. But uh, I'm sure you guys know who built one of these or are going to get one. Uh, you'll know what I'm talking about. But it holds a lot of different bottles really good it holds these sms obviously that's in there now if you get about nine across one two three four five six seven eight nine yeah it's, i always seem to average about nine across no matter what brand i have um, but you get a lot in a small area and i like to tuck everything against the wall leaving the rest of the desk open um i will put a link below for these two these are a must-have i i really like these and uh, i'm going to show you now behind us let me pause the camera and we'll flip it around and I'll show you uh, the larger size ones and how great they look once they're all together. Hold on one second. All right, guys, there you are. We uh, turned around and we were sitting behind here. I just flipped the camera this way. Uh, that's the six ones. See it? And that's one, two, three, four, five, six all the way down there. That's my Mecha Empire uh, airbrush lacquers. That's all the way down there. And those are all... Uh, that rack I showed you, just the six-shelf version versus the three-shelf version. I'll have links below for both of them. They're, uh, they generally run about 20 bucks, 25 bucks, I will say, 25 on Prime. And uh, yeah, they show up right away because they're on Prime. And, and they're really, really worth it uh, in my eyes. Now, to make the shelf unit look nice, I got this round one on the end. Um, let me see if I can show that one to you. See the round one? And uh, I got that at the container store. Again, it's a spice rack. You can see it's that same company with the ridges. But I put my uh, extreme metals here, whatever fit in it nice. And uh, it, it rounded off the corner nice because you can see the shelf goes all the way down. So I thought that was, uh, it looked good. I like to have continuity. Uh, these are different. I'm going to show you what those are in a second after I show you the rest of the acrylic racks. And uh, we'll go through those in a second. But, uh, yeah, for now, these are the acrylic racks. See them? And it just looks great. I put lights on the here. That's why it's so bright. I, I lit everything up perfectly so uh, I don't have to go nuts when I'm looking for a certain color. But, anyway, I'm going to head uh, against the wall now. I'm going to put the camera off, and I'm going to flip around, and I'll show you the acrylic racks that are made for the wall. All right, guy, here is the wall to the left of me, and uh, these are the acrylic racks I'm talking about totally against the wall massive savings of room and space and uh, but eventually I ran out of wall and I had to go to the traditional uh, shelves like I'm showing you now but these are wonderful these are nail polish acrylic racks they come in a set of six uh, let me see if I can adjust this camera hold on guys all right here we go let me tighten this all right um, yeah right here that's them. See the bolts? It takes two bolts 
and I use like a wood screw and uh, they come with the counter sinks if you need it and I just go right across the board and I just spaced it so each one fits because you have taller jars these are taller obviously than the motos so I have everything spaced out in a certain way and uh, yeah but these are invaluable uh, if you have the wall you can bolt it to I happen to be in a basement here a semi-finished basement it's nice but this wall you know the plasterboard it's easy uh, so it goes right up um, I eventually did run out of room and then so what I did was all of my um, Aquios colors were over here and across so I put the Oticons up I'm, I'm expanding the motos and I took them all out and I put them in that mr. hobby rack that I showed you and uh, that's what that is now I'm going to show you what these racks are that are standing up here uh, in just a second now there's also these racks these are made by Typhoon let me see if I can yeah all right I'm working on this one now see it Typhoon these made these hold Citadel paints 52 bottle but for me they'll hold uh, these new uh, Sun and Sevens so yeah, they'll hold uh, my my moto paints which is what I'm working on now sorry about the, the shaking so yeah, I mean it's too big to hold but it will hold the uh, Vallejos and they make these corner racks too so you can really design your area and I'll show you all the way across here and then see it now those are made for the Vallejo size jars let me bring the camera in but I'd also fit look the a the AK third gen uh, ammo by Migs and at the top is the Mecca lineup from uh, Vallejo so uh, they make it to fit any one paint that you have including uh, Tamiya's and whatnot so uh, yeah so this one let me go back this one is a little bigger whereas the other one fits snug in fact if you bump it these will all fall over the other one I just showed you won't fall over they fit snug in there perfectly so these are great they come pre-cut I think they're like 20 something bucks I think they include the shipping I'll put a link below for Typhoon Racks those are another uh, nice solution that makes the area look really nice and uh, those come highly recommended too so let's head back to the bench I have a couple of more solutions to show you before we wrap this up all right back at the bench this is my carry-all this is portable um, and these are for my testers or my Ravel and the reason why the Ravels are in that and I can also hold my oh let me show you the uh, to me uh, man enamels hold on one second Oh my guys, I gotta reach out for my Tamiya enamels. Sorry guys, I'm usually way more organized than this before I shoot the video, but I forgot about the Tamiya enamels, which is a smaller version of this. And there you go. Now the Tamiyas can sit upright because the caps are color coordinated, which is fantastic. And uh, I don't show these that often because you can't get them in America. You have to have them exported. I got these from Poland, from Super Hobby, but. Uh, not not a big penny in the ass to get them, but they, uh, you know what? Just just get them in the country. There's no enamels here besides mine and uh, whatever's left of testers, you know. So, I, uh, you know, the hobby could use more enamels. They're really good, particularly for brushing. But anyway, that's the the small rack for them. But this is made for testers. But I got it because it held. Look at the exact amount I had for, um, to me as te uh, enamels. But here is my testers here, and you flip them upside down. And believe it or not, it's a good method of keeping the air tight jars. Um, the paint forms a seal, and no air can get in. And it's a little trick in the hobby to store your paints upside down and to keep them air tight. But this way, you can see the color. And the bigger jars are actually empty Tamiya enamel jars. They sell these, so I got a whole case of them because these come in those tins. You know the tins that. Uh, let me show you the tins that Humbrol comes in. Let me grab one. Yes, we're back. Here's the tins. These are the tins from Humbrol. You know, the lid shows the color. But um, love these paints. Uh, these, these go on good. I'm going to do a whole video on these pretty soon, actually. But uh, these, I don't like these containers. I mean, you open them. Uh, the tin has gotten cheaper over the years, and it, they bend. And then uh, it's tough to grab the lid once you have it down to put it back on. And everything becomes a mess. And uh, I like everything neat. So what I did was, these are the same tins that the Ravels came in. 
So what I did was I just opened them up, bought a box of these, and I, and I made my own labels on my printer. And uh, there you go. And that's how I got them out of the tins. I might do the same if I do the humbles. It's a lot of work. Let me show you the jars, how they come. All right, here's the jars from Tamiya. I already used some. See it? Empty jars. The label comes right off. See the Tamiya label? Peels right off like nothing. That's what it is. Paint mixing jar, mini square. And I got to tell you, I got a whole bunch. So maybe I will do the humbles. And uh, <laughs> I got another box over there. These are all full. So maybe I will do another uh, video. It's hard to put. I don't put links up to these because I got these locally. And boy, they are not cheap online. So I never really speak of them. I don't like to, you know, put something up there and like the, the cost is like astronomical. Just not worth it. But uh, yeah, I'll put a link up for these though. Uh, these cases are nice. They hold the square bottles perfect. If you have a set of testers or if you do what I did and did these, you put them in the square jars or if you're going to do the, the, uh, to me is I put them there and then a little storage up here what I did was I started putting the spoons that match here and I'm testing this gray color this metallic gray for a Porsche I'm gonna start next and this is uh, the testers graphite square jar right over direct plastic not even a primer so I, I wrote down exactly what it is because that is in here I just put the spoon in here you know you can zip it up and that's it so that's that all right let me get this out of the way I'm gonna show you uh, uh, the last rack, and I have a lot of those in the room too. You didn't see them. Um, they kind of covered up by paint, but I'll show you that right now. All right, I cleared off the bench for the last one here. And that's my extend the shelf. Expand the shelf, I should say. Um, these are invaluable for the room, particularly if you're going, you know, tabletop. And uh, I'll show you this. This is as simple as it gets. Hold on, let's get it out of the box. go boom all right check this out as I drift away here and there you go now um, some of these I painted black and uh, some I left alone but there it is and I put this up and then just pull her apart to match whatever shelf you need and there you go and then uh, you could put I mean I have paint but you could put anything on this check this out your glues and uh, I like to paint it black because I can kind of see the product better and it blends into the wall and um, these are highly recommended this is about 12 bucks I mean invaluable as far as cost goes and what these can do particularly the adjustable and uh, I'll show you right now we'll spin around behind us and I'll show you uh, where all mine are on the wall all right guys we spun around I'm holding the camera here sorry if it's a little wobbly but that's the first shelf I showed you with the acrylics it's the next shelf up all right, so let's go for the ride. That. There it is. See it? I painted it black, and that's the steps all the way up. All right, and that's them. And uh, I go all the way across this shelf. This is like a five or a six foot shelf. All behind it is that plastic expanded shelf. All the way up. There it is. I didn't paint that one black. That's white. And that's my entire collection of Tamiya spray cans all on the steps. And behind my spray booth, here's the booth you guys see me spraying in all the time. So let's go up here. Same thing here with my uh, AOK -okay paint collection. Ready? There you go. So you don't have to paint that one because they're completely covered. But it holds this perfect collection. Look at that. The full set of uh, AOKs. It was just two racks expanded out. And up here is all my clears and special coatings. And that is the same thing. I didn't paint that one. That's another double of them up on, on a split shelf that I put up. And, um, yeah. So, I mean, look at, look at the space I've just saved, and I can see every product. These are a must. These uh, expand the shelves. There's one for my spray cans, my Vallejo spray cans. And that you expanded it. I shrunk that one in a little bit so it fit on this mini shelf I put up. And across the whole bottom are my primers. And those are my thinners. Same exact thing all on those shelves those are painted black you can see it right there so those are all my thinners these are my primers miscellaneous down here and the last storage rack I have let's go in a little bit here is this spinner rack from uh, Micromark and that holds my entire collection of wicked colors and my candy uh, candy 2o paints 
Yeah, the test is coming up for those soon too. And that holds all of them. Look at that. The four shells all the way up. And uh, you can actually expand these, I think. Or they make a mini one with just the two or three and then the four. And uh, that was at Micromark. I'll put a link for that up too. And um, yeah, that's that's another another one that's a space saver, a roundabout. But these expander shells are really great. They're really great. So I, those are key to my room and these acrylic ones and the ones that were on the wall will we'll spin this way. You guys get to see the whole wall here. There you go. I ran out of room here, so I put these mini shelves up over here. And then, of course, over here is my odd shelf that I bolted in here. I got some kits up here, but can you see the little shelf I put? These are little two-footers. And then uh, there's, the, there's the racks. I didn't paint these either. But those are my Gaia Note stuff right there. Uh, if you guys are still with me in the video, I have a connection coming soon for Gaia Notes. We're going to have Gaia Notes available uh, readily in America uh, soon and uh, at a great price. More details on that to come. That's why I haven't tested Gaia. They're so hard to get, but now that's about to change. All right, guys, let me pause this and we'll head back to the bench. All right, back at the bench where we left off. Like I said, you can see it. Here's my all-clad spray paint. Here's my Mecha Empires. But uh, look at that. You can go all the way back. You put the taller stuff in the back, obviously. But nothing really covers anything else up. You can reach for whatever you want. These are really good to have. And uh, the price is right. They're white. You can paint them any color to match your room. Um, but anyway, the, this is what I recommend. As one of my top favorites are these shelves. Let's get this out of the way and wrap it up. How's that? Fold it up. And there you go, guys. That is a little bit of a tour of uh, my storage racks and some miscellaneous storage I showed you in the beginning. And, uh, yes, uh, organization on your bench is a big deal, particularly for me. You just know what you're reaching for when you're doing something. And um, it just makes everything more efficient and time-saving. Some of these kits can take a while. Uh, anyway, there you go. That was it. All right. We're going to have another video, hopefully in a few days. I'm trying to get something in for a giveaway. I'm trying to think of what we're going to be giving away. I might give away this brand new Procon Boy uh, airbrush from GSI, Mr. Hobby. I'm thinking of this one. Could be uh, gift bound, but I wanted to tie it together with an air compressor, which I want to test. So uh, hopefully that comes in in time for Christmas, and we will do that as a giveaway. I also have that Power Metal Band Quantum Twilight giveaway, signed copies, and uh, with the song on there that's based on Gundam. And... Uh, Got a surprise coming next week. We'll give you a little bit of an insight as to what that is now. I have a brand new waterfall spray booth coming. And uh, I actually have two different designs of waterfall spray boots on its way in. And uh, uh, I'm excited for this one because I think this, is, uh, this could be a winner. And uh, if that comes early next week, I'll have that video up next week of that new waterfall spray booth. Uh, part one, anyway. There's two coming. Uh, anyway, guys, that's it. That's the video. Take my advice. Grab some of these racks. I'll put all the links below for everything. And uh, your room will be the better for it. And it'll look great. Um, mine's still a mess because I still got to get stuff on the wall. And uh, stuff keeps coming in. It's tough to get. It's tough to keep up. And then shoot the videos and you know keep things rolling. But we're doing it. And a little bit of mishap with my dog, Ollie. I'll have him on video for you guys soon. And uh, But right now we're rolling. We're doing good. Christmas is coming up. Things are really uh, going by quickly here. It doesn't seem to be uh, uh, surreal. It seems to be surreal to me, but uh, time is flying by. But anyway, guys, I'm talking too much. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. We'll see you in the next video. God bless. Don't forget, please like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, please uh, consider my Patreon. I'll put a link below where uh, I answer your questions in video form. I did two answers this week. A couple of guys joined, asked me questions. I put up the video and answered them personally directly. But anybody who's on Patreon can watch the videos, too. So those are separate from my channel here. Those are more personalized. You know, what does this paint look like painted it over this piece? I'll do that live for you guys on camera. Uh, and that's my Patreon. Anyway, guys, have a wonderful rest of your week. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.